Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of a program. Here we are on TV once again. Uh, once and every day, turn on the machines and live forever. It's uh, Sunday. Hi, John Webster. Where are you? I'm trying to find you. Thank you for joining me in this very difficult time. Okay, did I do this? Nope. <laughs> Gotta set the timer. We had a lot of reminders around, but they got buried on the walls. There's one on the top. It's very buried. Uh, it's Sunday. And look, I'm wet. See this? Yeah. yeah. My hat, I think my hat is darker than normal, and this, I got all this here. So that's good. And the fix for the fan is off. Why is the fan off? I need this fan to dry me out. Uh oh. I wonder if I burn it out. Oh no, there it goes. Good. Uh, that's nice. I like the fan even when it's uh, not too hot, but it's still kind of hot in here actually. Still definitely warm. How are ya? Doing pretty good. Happy I brought brain gear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how, how long have you been living in Washington? Um, since March. Oh yeah, so you uh, haven't gotten into the season yet, huh? I haven't gotten the full winter now. Yeah. The end of it. I'm here right after Snowmageddon. Yeah. There that... was like kind of snow in patches everywhere here and there still. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Uh, but now it's it's starting up, I guess in now but maybe it'll go back to being summer too this might be just a fluke who knows when was the last time you were here um i think it was last week sometime mm. i'm gonna have to go to the tape mm -hmm. i don't remember i don't remember either yeah <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> It wasn't that long ago, though. Uh, I think it must have been last week. I think, uh, I don't know what we were doing, though. It came on a few times last last week, I think. I think it was that week. Yeah. Sometimes you end a week and you think, like, what happened this week? Mm -hmm. And it's like, you should be able to remember one week, at least. Right. But, uh, I don't remember. I stopped making memories after a while, I guess. It's like, too I'm, full. Yeah. And doing all this, I'm supposed to remember these hours or something here too. Sometimes I watch the episodes, and I have like no memory of saying the things. <laughs> I'm like, whoa! Probably did say those things. I believe that it's actually me on the TV there. <laughs> At least you have like a like a time capsule of all those years. Yeah, I don't remember it. I got this thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you uh, ride the bus there? Yeah. yeah. Back to not fair weather bus people. Hopefully the, the bikes will be, bike racks will be open, more open. Uh, did you see anything out there? Yeah, well not today, but there's been, I did see some things that I thought I would tell you Saved it. Oh yeah. And uh, I saw two dead possums and a dead <laughs> raccoon. Oh no. <laughs> possums are. I heard uh, they eat pests. They eat fleas and uh, ticks. Mhm. Mm so they're good. They're kind of scary looking, but they're probably nice. Yeah, they are. They are uh, like the cleanup crew because they'll eat like plants and like dead stuff also. Yeah, raccoons are bad. Yeah. They look, they're cuter, but they're meaner. Oh, yeah. The possums, they'll, they'll like, hiss at you, but they're not going to bite you. Yeah, those scared. raccoons will just attack you. They don't care. No warning? Just, like, uh, run at you? Yes, and I don't get close to those things. They're big. Raccoons? Especially up here. They're bigger than 
where I'm from. They are raccoons in Arizona? Yeah, they're smaller. And then the ones in Nevada are like a little bit bigger, but they're still not as big as the ones here. Oh, seems like I thought they were, they'd do well here. Uh, they eating my sister's uh, animal, like ducks. Eat. Raccoons. I guess I don't know how she knows that. I should just blame more raccoons, but they're feisty. It's a cougar. Yeah, and they can get into the garbage. They know how to open things. They got weird hands. Yeah, they have like little mini hands. Yeah. There used to be more possums. I feel like there was more possums in the area uh, in the past, and there's less of them. I don't know where they all went. They're the only marsupial in the United States. That's weird. How did they get here? It's been here. But, but they're, they're the only ones left. Everything else is dead. It is. They were used to be more, and then they just uh, yeah. They they extincted except for that one. Yep. They would still have possums. But what's the? Is it got a pouch? Yep. It carries its babies in the pouch, and the babies are even called joeys because they're marsupials. They're almost almost mammals, though. Yeah, they're still a mammal. They are? I think, yeah. They're still a mammal. They're just a marsupial the, sub, sub They're just mammal a pouched or? mammal. Okay. Yeah, they're older. They're like an older genus of mammal. I thought the mammal was, uh, marsupial was the spot where they go to mammal. It's like, instead of a mammal, they're a marsupial. No, they're, that's just what they are, I think. So they, they... Genus? Yeah. Genus, phylum, class? Order species, mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't know which one of those mammal is. The mammal is the species. No, species is like the last one. Species is like the the individual and thing. Oh yeah, huh? Good yeah, point. it's like so. Yeah. It's like so. Kingdom is animals and plants and stuff. But then it's like phylum, which Breaks I don't... it down into like what parts the animals have, if I remember right. Well, it's like phylum, order, genus, species. And it's like phylum or order, one of those is like fish and birds and mammals. Mm -hmm. But I don't know which one it is. I think it might be phylum. Kingdom, then phylum. It's like all animals in the phylum. I don't know. Um, marsupials are mostly in Australia, though. Yep. Yeah. Seems like they're from Australia. Maybe Probably. somebody they brought the possums over here from Australia a long time ago. Yep, like they did the pigeons. Except that wasn't that long ago. They're from Australia. No, not pigeons. No, they're from Europe, but oh. same kind of diff. They brought them from Australia. No, I don't think they brought the uh, possums. Oh, from, oh but. Because there's only, there's like only a couple kinds of possums too. There's only the kinds that are here, and there's like the other kinds that aren't here. Where? I don't even know if there's possums in Australia. Yeah, <laughs> whoa. Mm. I know that they're in Europe here. Where where were the where are all these animals that you saw the dead ones? They were at Capitol Forest. In the forest. It, leaving it on the road out of it. You go to that trail again? Yep. And then we went and rode an electric board out there too. Whoa! What's an electric board? It's a mountain board with electric motors on the back. In my head. What? Remote control. So you, it went like 40 miles an hour. You want you want? I didn't one, go uh, 40. Yeah. But it does go 40. Yeah, that's like de death. I was easily going like 25, 30 though. Well, uh, that's probably yeah, death. Yeah, I was too. going uphill and stuff too. It was Whoa. crazy. Who who made that? That seems insane. It was hand built. Oh yeah. Yep. We met this dude who made it, and 
now he's been riding just the standard boards with this. Yeah. Um, but I obviously had to have a go on that thing. So I rode it around the neighborhood first, and then we were like, oh, we should bring this to the forest because we were going there. Yeah. So I just tore it up at, like, the quarry and stuff that we were up in, like up by, that just main road where all the trucks were going. Yeah. I was just, I was hitting that on that board. That seems very dangerous. It has brakes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's the brakes part. It's just, like, the going real The fast. every other part. Yeah. <laughs> hitting, hitting the rock. I mean, the brakes definitely help. Oh, it was scary. Yeah. It has so much power that, like, um, the wheels just kind of spin on the dirt. Like, you can just do, like, little burnouts, like, instantly with it. Yeah. And it, it's difficult to, like, get the, the throttle down. It kind of just, like, jerks you. You're like... You didn't, uh... Fall? <laughs> nope. Wow. I was not trying. To. I almost did a couple times, though. Yeah. Wow, that's a crazy, crazy invention. Then you need a uh, mm, handle. <laughs> and it's definitely not something I would just. I would never ride that thing on like the roads ever. Yeah, go somewhere. Like, oh, I'm just gonna ride that through town. Mm. He's actually gotten hit on that by riding it. Down, so. You get hit by a car? Yep. Mm. Well, dead animals in the forest, what happened? Do you think they got hit by cars? Oh, they definitely got hit by cars. Uh, forest animals, more likely to get hit by cars. I mean, well, there's less cars, but they're also not used to them. So I feel like enough. those ones would be pretty used to them, though. I think the possums just aren't fast. The possums, they play possum. They, that's what, that's why they always get hit by cars. They see a possum and then, or they see a car and then they stop and they play dead instead of moving. And then they get hit. They're good size too. I saw a deer, uh, look at, you know, do the deer in the headlights, actual thing. It was real. The car was coming and then the, and the deer just stopped and it was staring at the car and not moving. That's like the worst. Yeah. So it's not it's not just a clever phrase. Oh no. Yeah. See I did the program yesterday on Saturday at about um, eight thirty. And then uh, I think I Rode the bus back to my residence over there to go lay my head in today. We went to um, I went to my grandmother's house this nice. afternoon. Yeah, and we went to Popeyes, Ooh. and they're all uh, Popeyes is all crazy about that chicken sandwich. You okay. heard about that? Yeah. There's like a shortage. Yeah, there's a shortage. And they were like out lines out the door. Everybody was like crazy for the sandwich. And the one we went to, they didn't even have the sandwich. They had a bunch of signs everywhere. Like no sandwich. Yeah. Like sorry about They're the like sandwich. They're like sold out. They're now. sold out everywhere. Yeah. yeah. But do they just put some uh, uh, whatever chicken on some bread? Right. Well, maybe they're playing the game of. Uh, like the man. I also saw that there's a, a shortage of those white cloth seltzers that everybody's been drinking lately. Those oh, hard seltzers. Yeah, stupid. There's like a yeah. So there's a shortage of those. The company released like a statement saying that they're gonna try to produce more to like cope with the shortages, and people are like freaking out because they can't get them. Oh yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, didn't have this last week. I but want now my white claws. What is that, like malt liquor? Uh, I think it's more of like, it's like a vodka basically with um, seltzer. It's like a, so, yeah, vodka, vodka soda in a can. 
Well, it's not a soda, though, because it's just water. It's seltzer oh, that, water. But that's what they call it at the uh, bar. Yeah, soda water. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I drink at the bar. When I go to the bar, I say, I want a, a, like a vodka soda. Let me give you the seltzer. You can also call it a tonic, too. Yeah, vodka tonic, vodka cool. soda. They call it, uh, uh, if you want flavor soda, then you have to ask for the flavors. Right. Uh, my grandma work. drinks vodka and Coke, so. That's a, a lot of people think that you can't do like a clear with the dark, but it's good. You can. Mm -hmm. um, that's, those things are weird. Mm, it's probably a smaller company that got blown up, but that's pretty good with the company. But uh, the, the sandwiches, they didn't have any of the sandwiches, and I was looking at the, uh, the menu, and I was talking to the person, the worker, about the sandwiches, and mm -hmm. all it is is, like, it's nothing special. So it's like regular chicken and pickles, mm -hmm. mayonnaise, bread. Well, it's, it's, it's got the hype behind it, though. Yeah. I was like, what's with these... Uh, What's with the sandwich? Why does everybody love the sandwich? And she didn't know why the, the worker is it. It's just pickle. Well, she also works there. Yeah. So she's not going to be about any of the stuff there. Yeah. Unless she's new, then you're super about it. That goes away. But I, I was already going to Popeye's. Mm -hmm. Everybody jumped on the wagon. I'm the Popeye's wagon now. Popeye's is good. But you have to go to the right ones, because if you go to ones that are not good, it's really not good. Yeah, you've been to some bad ones. I've never been to a bad one. I went to the lowest rated Popeyes in the Phoenix metro area, and I got sick. Oh. It literally had one star. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even have an A rating on the on the on the door. It was like a the good. C or something like that. Yeah, people were still going there? Yeah. It was like the only one. It was literally in like the middle of like the hood. Yeah. They don't do that here with the ratings. They don't do the A, B, C's or anything like that here? Not in the window. Oh. They do have to look it up. Ah. Yeah, see there, they just post it right there so you can see it. Yeah. So that way you know what you're getting yourself into. Like, do you want to eat here? You're like, going for it. Kind of. I don't really trust those. The health inspectors. People just uh, bleach. If you, they get a good thing, you just like, bleach the shit out of everything. And, I don't know. You know. People know what's good to, what's, what's good to do. You know, I think the best way is go in there, look around. Tables. How's the tables? Yeah. Tables are clean. Food's good. I guess I'm not worried about it. I would eat most food. I, I just think people are trying not to hurt you. I've eaten some like really sketchy looking places and it turned out to be like some of the best food I've had, so. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, the, the sandwiches, nothing special. It's got regular food though, it's pretty good though. What'd you get? Chicken, spicy chicken, mashed get potatoes. Any sauce? No, I'm gonna put a sauce on straight up fried chicken. See, that's where I do put sauce. What? <laughs> <laughs> not on nuggets though? Nope, not nuggets though. What kind of sauce you put on there? Ranch. What? Why? <laughs> I know you'd think I'd put it on something like tenders or like nuggets, but nope, I like it on like actually. You're just like being contrarian. No. No, yeah. <laughs> you put ranch on your fried chicken? Yeah. Does mac and cheese on top of it count as a dressing? No, you don't eat it on the side? No, I just like to mix it all together. Even with the bones? Well, I like usually like pick it apart. You like pick it apart and then make a little mixed up salad with ranch dressing and Basically, mac and I cheese? Basically, I make like a bowl. But like, just like with it, but I put like a little bit of ranch in it too. I like break it apart. I like take all the skin and everything and I keep all that in there. Mm. And then like I mix the mac and cheese up with the, with the mashed potatoes and then you 
mix that in with the chicken. So why grant with that and not with the nugget for? Guys, I like just the taste of the nuggets. But I like the mixed taste of like the 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 actual chicken. How about popcorn chicken? Nope. No sauce. <laughs> Sauceless. <laughs> popcorn chicken is basically like more like the um other chicken than uh, and see, my favorite part of the popcorn chicken isn't even the chicken bite parts. It's just the ones that are just like all crunch. Yeah, just eat some, can we get some uh, croutons then? Oh, I love eating croutons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or like maybe a falafel. They're I've never falafel. even had a falafel. They have a new place on, on the west side. That's a lot more. I think I want to try it, but it has a really awful name. I think it's called Evergreen. It's called Evergreen Cafe Euros, I think is what it's called. Something like that. Mm. What mean? is a falafel? It's like a. Um, some kind of. It's like r really chopped up vegetables. In a okay. dough, oh, okay. and then fried, like a uh, fritter. That's what you call it. Okay. Like a vegetable fritter. Pretty good. It's good. It's like um, uh, Greek, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's got like some spices. Oh, well, we got a good amount of vet, uh, voicemails. Falafel is good. It's like lots of vegetarians eat falafel. Okay. It's fried up. I think so. Yeah, this is the chicken. This is my last piece. It's like half a piece. <laughs> yeah, you don't have a phone? Huh? What happened to your phone? It'll be back. Did you... Did you didn't pay it? No, not yet. Was that why you got shot off, or...? Yeah, and I just need to get a new one. So there's really not a point for me to, like, turn this one on yet until I get paid this week, and then I'm just gonna get a new one. Because mine's done. It's, like, been acting up anyways. And I'm also not going to have T-Mobile anymore because I'm fed up with them. I've had them for like four years. And every time I've had them, I've just wanted to say I wasn't going to have them and I'm finally quitting them. <laughs> You're going to switch to what uh, company you work for? Yeah. We'll give you a discount? Yeah, I'll be getting like unlimited everything for like 35 bucks a month, so i got to jump on it. Pretty good. And then if you have a problem with it, you can call yourself. Yep, I'll just go in and fix it myself. It's a silent message. I can hear it going though. There's like some real quiet voices in the background. Yeah. I don't know who it is. They left more than one silent message though. Come back, whoever it is. Oh, they're calling while the program's on. They're probably watching out of like a bar or something. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to get this thing going. Uh, Trying to copy the paste and number, but it's not working too well. I'm gonna write it down with a pen. You see any pens? Come out here, I'm sitting on one. Put right on this plate. Oh, here's 
my tooth. I found my tooth after a long time. It got a um. Yeah, yeah, it got a. <laughs> uh, I came out of my head a long time ago, but I, I lost it, and then I, it was under the couch. <laughs> What tooth was this? That was my uh, wisdom tooth. Whoa, look at the roots on this. Oh, it was all messed up. I think that's why I had to get it removed. <laughs> it was growing weird things. Yeah. <laughs> should make a, like a necklace out of that. Yeah. <laughs> I just leave it over here and, and uh, hold on to it. Or chew my food before. Uh, put it in my mouth. It's like scraper. Oh, this person. For some reason, I called them WTF. So they have called in the past. I think the person that called the past and they said, "Yeah, man." Are we going. Seem to be going. Well, it didn't go through anyway. So that was a, somebody who has called in the past, though. And they were. Uh, not having it. Oh, here's Gene. I've been playing contact with Gene for a while. Oh yeah, Friday we're at CCTV. I watched that on YouTube. It wasn't in the CCTV last night, but I was entering into an argument for me or something with my friend Dylan. And um, that was in Boston, Massachusetts. Now I'm in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Again, and I was going to go drive up my favorite little farm and buy things, but I think that's stupid. I think I should stay here and eat some cookies and have tea. And I'm going to do something in two hours. And what am I doing? I'm racing all over there. It's stupid. And um, I got a free apple at a Vestarian. I had lots of Johnny Apple tea things. There's Macintosh apples, which are very tasty, and I feel like you don't really get the good ones over there on the west coast, I'm sorry. Um, there's a specific tartness that happens when they are picked and then I think fades in transit. So, sorry about that. Um, but come on over, have a Macintosh apple. Oh, viewers, uh, why do you live in the gym? Uh, Macintosh <laughs> apple, that's like the and, company. Um, mm -hmm. That's all talking sometime. Hope. Uh, grandmother is doing well, and blah blah. Bye. Let's call it back. Gene. Mm, this food is good. Makes me kind of sleepy. I eat it anyway. Opposite of what food is supposed to do. <laughs> it's like, oh, here you get energy, not with this. Yeah. But it's relaxing. It's super relaxing. So you eat all this fried chicken and pass out. Soul food for your soul. Yeah. Sleep. Hey, hey. Hey, Gene. Hello, Kenny. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Real good. We've been playing phone tag. Yeah. Yep. Oh, we win. We win the phone tag. Yeah. Right now. Big yeah. winners. And uh, Jen is yeah. here, too. Hey, Jean. Who is? Jen. Jen. Hello, Jen. Hi. Uh, how it sounds not very good. It's very wobbly. Oh, there's all there's, 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 there's extra noise. Ah, uh, now it's better. There. The fan is blowing right at it. I'm going to block it <laughs> with my leg. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the fan should not be blowing on it. Yeah. I'm trying to cut. Yep. 
Flip. Where are you? Um, what's going on? Are you back in Greenfield? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Uh, <laughs> yeah. You got an apple? I got an apple. It was really good. Yep. It was, yeah. It was definitely, you could tell it was picked, you know, yesterday or something, you know? I feel like there's a bit of a magic to a fresh apple. I don't like uh, apple. I don't really eat fresh apples too much. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, you can't. You can't most times of the year. Oh, yeah. But I mean, I don't even like raw apples. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's okay. I don't either because I can't get them fresh. But uh, Pink Ladies, I think, are the, the best thing out there. I like uh, mm, mangoes. Maybe. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. But how do you know when they're ripe? I'm not good at that. And yeah, or waiting. And then also avocados. Like they're hard, so I don't buy them. I wish I did. I like those foods, but I I don't know if I don't have faith in myself to get them right. Avocados and mangoes, to me, you gotta you can tell by their firmness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They gotta be like pretty squishy. Yeah. I think someone told me with avocados, maybe it's especially up near that little bitty top, like around the little knob thing that comes off. I don't. Know. I just go yeah. for. I just go right in the middle. Yep. And then you yeah. you kind of feel it. If it's squishy, then it's good. And if it's not squishy, then you gotta wait. And if you're on the edge, then you should wait. Wait. Yeah. Because an under yeah. underripe avocado is just awful. Somehow. It's sad. It's really sad because like you've wasted the good thing. You wasted it. You can't really even eat it. Sometimes you try. Yeah. And it's like chewy. Yeah. And like fibery. Mm -hmm. Where are all those yeah. fibers? The fibers just go. They dissolve or something. <laughs> Turn into the Great question. We need a scientist. I want to know more scientists. Yeah. It'd be good if you had a scientist you could call on the program. Call. A biologist. Where or where all those fibers go, scientists? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually have a bag of avocados waiting for me at home. Bravo. And did you get them? You didn't get them at the grocery outlet, did I, you? I did. You did, but those don't work well, I found. Maybe I wasn't waiting long enough. Yeah. You gotta wait like a while. But the, pro yeah. the problem is I already ate all my chips. Mm -hmm. And I also ate all my, I got, um, I like went there and I got chips and I got some salsa and I got um, some ground beef and I already ate all yeah. that stuff. Mm. Now uh, I have only avocados. Yeah. You can't just eat yeah. avocados. That's not a bad problem. That's not a difficult problem at all. I think I mean, you'll enjoy those avocados when you, you're ready. You can eat them by themselves, but yep, we stuck. I'd rather have them with chips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now I gotta go buy more yeah. chips. Yeah. But not more avocados. Maybe no. I should though. I gotta buy every time I go buy avocados, and then you use them, uh, and then you go back and you buy it when your next shopping trip. You eat the avocados from the previous shopping trip, and then they're good. By now the that time. sounds uh, like you're cooking with oil or something. Is that phrase? Maybe yeah. it's not. <laughs> it's like it's, it's hard to it's hard to time your avocados to me because then I never yeah, yeah. I always eat all my food. I basically always eat all my food, and then I spend like two days eating McDonald's before I get more food. Mm. I'm so hungry right now, and my house is full. There's a group of people called the neighbors, and they started meeting like way more than ten years ago, uh, once a month. And they're so they're all and they were worried about climate change, and now uh, they do other things. And I joined their meeting. It was very nice, uh, but I got so hungry, and they're all still in the house. And I just want to go down the stairs, and if I have hamburger meat that I'm going to cook into a hamburger and then use a English muffin as my bun and I'm pretty excited about that. Mm. But I can hear them talking. Oh, you got to avoid them? Yep. I, well, I've done, yeah, I, I spent a long time with them just now and I want my house back. Oh, are they kind of yeah. down, are they downers? Even they're, 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 they're kind of, it's kind of a bummer. They're probably cleaning up, which is good. Some people, you want to help everything. It's like, it's good that you want to help, but you're a bummer. <laughs> Bum me out. Yeah, I'm just really hungry right now. 
it was uh, a potluck, but it was a very, it was sort of a pitiful potluck, guys. Or folks. Folks. Yep. Uh, you don't have, you don't have uh, um, uh, uh, snacks? Snacks? You know, I have, I have a Wasa cracker or two in my room here. Maybe I should eat it. Uh, oh, but actually, though, it's better when you're really hungry, though. Sometimes I'm really hungry. Yeah. And then I have yeah. like some food, like prepared yeah. or like in my mind. Mm -hmm. But then on mm -hmm. the way out, I just eat like one thing, and then mm -hmm. I'm like not that, that hungry anymore. And it's like, yeah, you can definitely ruin that glorious hunger. Yeah. Or that glorious relief. Yeah. If you and it's often you eat something stupid that you like you probably shouldn't eat. Yeah, I just eat like a handful uh. of chips or something, and then I'm just like. Yeah. Not not feeling the, like I just don't, don't want to eat anything at that point. It's like, oh, uh. Yeah. So maybe don't eat snacks. Just wait, wait it out. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's hard though. It's hard to wait it out. Yeah. <sighs> I'm glad you're calling because that is helping. That's helping. It's like I, the your hunger. I I heard somewhere that you're like, it's like pretty irrational when you feel hunger like you think that you would that you could be in tune with your own body about when you uh -huh. should eat and stuff but it's like not about like when you feel hungry it's not like you need to your body needs food yeah i guess we have all kinds of reserves yeah reserves and you know people we eat like way more than we probably most people like need to eat Mm -hmm. And more often... I did not eat very much today. Yeah. I'm, I'm averaging two meals yeah. a day. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird. It, eating is weird. Uh, I definitely don't eat for... Uh, for like... Uh, I think any, that's fun. Uh, it's getting past your knees. <laughs> I eat for fun. I eat for fun, basically. Mm. I'm like, oh, I want to eat stuff. You know, it's ne never, never for health or for sustenance or anything. I guess I, you do need to eat like eventually, but I've never gotten to that point where I like need to eat, probably. Maybe ever. <laughs> one can get irritable if one doesn't eat. Yeah, but that's just because you've been eating so much you're used to it. <laughs> like, it's true, I do get kind of hangry or confused. Yeah. Um... Where, How is the weather over there? Has there been some mountain boarding? Jen? Mountain boarding. Can you hear her? Hmm? Can you hear Jean? Kind of. Uh, uh -oh. We can turn it up on the TV. You want to you see it? Like, if you want to. Um, if you, unless you can hear it, it's fine. The, it's, uh, it's overcast. Mm -hmm. It's like a real day. Mm -hmm. It feels real to me. Uh, yeah. I like it. Put you right where you are. Yeah. yeah, other days, I'm like, this is not real. <laughs> Too late. Yeah. <laughs> I guess there was a thunderstorm. Did you see the thunderstorm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me neither. But I guess there was one around here somewhere at some point. How about you? Is there a, a hurricane? Isn't there a hurricane on the East Coast? Uh, it didn't come here. Not really at all. I think it, went, I think it was off. I think it stayed offshore. Mm. So it was just a big hype over nothing? I think it hit some... I, I don't think it came over here. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, last, last maybe it hit in Florida, maybe? Florida. And then went off or something. Last year, there was this crazy storm hype um, where everybody's like, you getting ready for this storm? It was like in town. Like, are we ready for this? This is going to be a crazy storm. And it was like not... Even like raining, maybe <laughs> it was like. No. <laughs> well, yeah, I think you were there for that, Jean. You, you, that was before, like, before you left. Uh, I like storms, so I was probably disappointed. Sometimes they just hit you, and then it's like, whoa, it's a crazy storm. But uh, yeah. that yeah. one, everybody, yeah, the the hype was probably worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you ready for this? You get uh, supplies, everybody got supplies or whatever. Mm. It was okay. not, not too okay. bad. How's, uh, how's uh, Phil? He's good. He did a game inside and he 
and there are all these people right in the living room, all these little older people, and we're all sitting in a circle, and he came in, and he did, he sat on my lap, which was very nice, and at the end, we all sang, sang a song about keep on moving forward, <laughs> well, and uh, then he came and he walked around in the middle of the circle and looked at us. Uh, <laughs> it was, was a acapella? Charming. Acapella? That's right, we were holding hands, and it was in what honor of some people who had died. This is the kind of place I am right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How does, how does people everybody... dying, activists. This is a group of that like older activists and community building people. How do they people know? who yeah. probably you would uh, have a lot of questions for. <laughs> yeah, if you have time to be an activist, that means you know you're not like trying to struggle to live. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, buddy. What about Ty? She was like a full-time bus bus boy. Oh, I don't know. And then, like, working on double time with just housing. They okay. Don't do okay, that's so I'm, I, I'm, I'm being, there, right? I'm being, uh, generalizing or something. What do you call that? Yeah. Uh, stereotype, stereotyping. But, um. Yeah, but I hear you. I hear you. I know about, yeah, it's like if you've got the extra time, uh, you're not struggling. Yep, and so, yeah, yeah. what do you really know? I have plenty of time. Struggle. I'm not doing anything, any good for anybody. <laughs> uh -huh. so, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> um, did you? Uh, how do they? How, how do they know the song? Everybody knows the song. I guess so. Yep. Did you know the song? Nope. I picked it up. So. Is it easy to pick up? Yeah, I think I'm not so bad at just you know singing what people are singing as they're singing it. Yeah. Or was, was that over dinner? It was after dinner. They meet from like six to seven, and then they do some kind of something from seven. And I didn't know it was at all until nine, and I was definitely done yeah. at eight. Being I was like, oh shit, why am I here? I'm so hungry. <laughs> you, <laughs> don't, don't you, don't, be here. you don't want to cook yeah. in front of them because they're gonna. Like when I, I felt like I couldn't leave. I felt for some reason that I should be a good role model and see the process through. And I think that's actually full of, uh, that's unnecessary. I made a mistake. Well, what was the song like? Um, we gonna keep on moving forward. <laughs> keep on moving forward. I don't actually, I didn't download it or upload it, I don't know it. Yeah, but, keep, keep on moving but forward. never turning back, it's ended like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah I so. think it's good, it's good to turn back sometimes. Mm -hmm. Reflect. If you've lost something and you want to go try to find it. Reflect and repeat and uh, mm -hmm. like, uh, like learn. Like daily hour with me. Yeah, I turn back. Oh, I'm turning back a lot. <laughs> maybe, maybe, too, maybe too much. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think they would say that you're going deeper. And yeah. I think I would agree I'm with really that. Really deep. We were talking about, yeah. actually, I have like a memory. Uh, I don't know if it's a problem. Like, it's another problem because it's not like affecting me in negative ways. But I don't have very good memory. Me neither. So uh -huh. I, I really can't, I can't turn back unless I would do this. So I'm like, oh, good, good thing to turn back, cause I, otherwise I'd not, I don't know, what's like, what's your life if you're not turning back, like, if you're moving forward all the time, then yeah, what I are you, really how are you living, it. how are you, like, what are you, what's your purpose of your life? Uh, Jenny, I have a question. When is the, the 10 year anniversary? Uh, we're calling, we're calling it Hayakuba which is right back there. If you ever wondered why this says Happy Hayakuba, uh, it's because we put that up there last year and we never took it down, which we probably should have. It was like a decoration we put up there for the year anniversary thing. We call it Hayakuba mm -hmm. now. I made it up, the word. Okay. Yeah, but okay. Then, we, then we left it up there and now it's not a special uh -huh. event anymore. And then we're gonna be like, look! <laughs> so we, we probably, it's like leaving your birthday if you put up Happy Birthday. And then you just never take it down? And then when you... Oh, yeah. When, when There's you, one of, like, Chris's birthday in my old house from four, 
three or four years ago. Yeah. You have to go over and, and you say, what day is it? Busy. Duh, it says happy birthday back there. And like, it always says that. <laughs> You're like, well, today is. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it, it's on September 19th. Which okay. is coming up. I'm going to put it on my... So yeah. On, uh, on a Thursday, deal. Jen, we should, uh, we, we're going we're gonna to do something for it. You should be here. I will have, have definitely be here on that day. Uh, maybe everybody will get some pizza. Yeah. And uh, look back. Yeah. But I think it's going to be nine years. Yeah. Right? Because we started in... Really? We started in 2010. Okay. Well, so, one... Ten I years... I how that works. Ten years... Wait. Yeah. Wait. If we started... Yeah. Like, if you're... I always have a problem with this, too. It's like... Are I we, do, too. Yeah. Are we ten years old? Or we're on our tenth year? Or we're nine years old? So, if you're... It's like... If you're born, like the program was kind of born in a way, uh, in September 19th, 2010. Mm -hmm. So then you were one. 2001, we're one, right? You've done a, yeah. So that means we've done a full year. So this year we're going to be nine. Yeah. We're going to be in our tenth yeah. year, though. Yeah. That's a good. That's good. All right. That's we're going to be nine. Good. It's going to be nine years old, and we're going to be in our tenth year. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like, sometimes when it gets close to this, I think it's like a, a, a child who would be in like fourth grade or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am now, you know what, I'm saving it on my phone and I'm going to have it peach yearly, every year, forever. Oh, the good. The program anniversary. September, yeah. September 19th. Uh, yep. we, do a, we do a little thing, for we call it Hayakuba. It's, yeah. I've, I've, I kind of came to the conclusion that it's a better New Year's than actual New Year's. Because mm. yeah. it's, it's like, I feel like, like summer into fall is more New Year's than the middle of winter. You know, it's like, yeah. why, why would we do a New Year in the middle of winter? So Hayakaba is my, like, you know, spiritual New Year. Or nice. maybe more than spiritual, physical. <laughs> it's my physical. It's my physical New Year. I believe it. You know, it's real. It's the real New Year. Mm-hmm. Uh, so mm -hmm. the other, other, uh, other New Year. Chinese New Year is in a better spot too. Basically, regular New Year. Whatever. Who's, whose New Year is that? Caesar. It is based off of a Roman calendar. Yeah, those Romans were stupid. <laughs> uh, September, September nineteenth. That's a better one. I think that I, I think there's like Jewish New Year's and Chinese New Year's. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's around then. That's really totally around then. I hear. And I that, just heard that in the meeting. And there's my New Year. So all those all New Year's they're all better than the one that everybody does. Yeah. Uh, but that's going to be um, September 19th. I think traditionally we come here, but then we also eat pizza. <laughs> like I did that today anyway. <laughs> so big Big <laughs> But maybe we'll get... Uh, I think last year the pizza people, they made us a pizza. And they wrote some kind of message in pepperonis or something. Nice. So nice. we'll be doing that again. Maybe we'll... Who will take down the sign? <laughs> so we, next year we can put it back up because this year we just left it there. We put it, or last year we put it up and we never took it down, and it's just there. We never really take too much stuff down. Maybe we'll take it down or add to it. But la last year was the first year that I named it though. Yeah. Because before that we were like. <laughs> We were like, it's our birthday or anniversary or whatever, and we didn't like any of those names. Mm -hmm. um, how do you spell it? I'll save it in my phone. Well, it's on every episode of the program, but yeah, I so guess this okay. is the official way to spell it because it's on the sign here. H-I-Y-A-K-U-B-A. Hiyakuba, almost, but it's pronounced yes. Hiyakuba. Hiyakuba. Okay. It's uh, I made I made it up. 
He Yakuba. I made it up. Yeah. I like it. And it. Okay, guys. Yeah, guys, you know what? I have to go downstairs and make a hamburger now. All right. Thanks for talking, Jim. We'll talk to you later. Keep calling me messages. Okay. Long, long ones. Okay. Okay, bye. Hey. Okay. <laughs> yeah, September 19th. It's, uh, it's a real time. It's going to be the, the time to be. Yeah. I always try to, um, keep things even also, though, you know, sometimes if it gets too exciting, then, then one, one day it's like really exciting, and it's like, well, what are we going to do? We got, so we got tomorrow, so don't do, I try not to, even in life maybe, <laughs> don't do, don't do too fun of things, you got to keep it going, like, yeah, you got to, got to keep it just, yeah, <laughs> consistency. <laughs> But especially on the program. Hey, program. Hey, Freddy, how are ya? Doing good. Just driving downtown, coming back from Kinko's. Oh, yeah, did you? Or what, not Kinko's. Uh, yeah, Kinko's is fine. FedEx. I know what you mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. That's the important thing. Yeah, totally. What's going on in the studio today? Jen is here. Hey, Freddy. Oh, hey, Jen. How's it going? Oh, it's pretty good. Getting things done. Things are working. I went to, uh, I didn't print anything or even do any financial transaction at FedEx. I just used their paper cutter. <laughs> nice. That's the way to do it. Did, did, I did, guess so. Did they look at you? Did they even notice? Uh, the operator lady was like vacuuming and I said goodbye when I left. And she said goodbye, <laughs> or I, maybe I said thank you, and she said goodbye, or something. Well, Seems good. fine. I, yeah. I've, uh, I, when I've been there before, actually printing, I've been like, you know, I've always like asking her for stuff, and it's clear I'm using financial things there, like paying things. Yeah. But I think that I think maybe she just assumes I'm doing stuff that I'm supposed to be doing there, and that it's, you know, they probably, I don't think they care anyway. Yeah. Most places don't care. Yeah. Especially at big corporations. Right. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't stop anybody from stealing. <laughs> you know, if somebody, yeah. somebody's like, I'm gonna, I'm stealing all this stuff. I'm like, okay. <laughs> hey, are you stealing? Like, oh, yes. Like, oh, okay. I was just curious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't. Even... Oh, cool. I thought so. I thought you were. <laughs> I thought. Oh, I was right at least. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, look at look at this guy stealing. Oh, hi, bye. Like, uh, but you're not even stealing. <laughs> Maybe you're 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 uh, dulling the blades a little bit. Yeah. I uh, I saw someone yesterday who almost looked like they were stealing. Well, no. I mean, how can you steal from the garbage can? We, I closed down a Olympia concert last night, and then we walked out into the alleyway, and there was somebody who looked. I mean. No, no offense meant to this gentleman, but he had like, you know, back middle length like threads and was like in really baggy sort of like brown clothes. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, this person is a um, transient person. But he wasn't digging through the garbage, he was digging through the compost. I'm like, oh, okay, this is weird. Uh, and I said, hi, what, what are you looking for in there? And he was like, oh, I'm getting coffee grounds for gardening. I was like, oh, oh, oh cool. Huh. He's like, is that okay? I'm like, yeah, that's fine. You know, yeah. have as much as you want. But it was just kind of a weird, it was like a strange thing to walk out to. But I think at first he thought I was going to stop him or something or like, yeah. it was just weird. He was digging around and getting all the coffee grounds out of the, um, out of the compost. And then uh, came out again later and saw him in there and he was almost done. He's like, there was a plastic bottle in there. Said, oh. oh no. <laughs> He's saving. Thank he's, you. He's saving the environment. One trash can at a time. Yeah, you uh, saved the environment. I'm gonna Thank you. I'm gonna record a message of the future. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Oh. Are you ready right now? Yeah. No. Give, uh, wait for one minute. All right. Are Thirty you gonna, seconds. Are you gonna walk in here? Because oh, if you are, I'm gonna I'm, hang up. I'm gonna walk in there. Uh, okay, but well, I'm gonna <laughs> hang up then. Bye. All right. <laughs>
All right, well, I'm going to call Mark to before the show's over because we only have a few minutes left. Mark. Yeah. He left a message, but I don't have time to listen to it before we call him back. Because I bet it's probably just like, I've been eating sandwiches and looking at fires. <laughs> <laughs> that was my Mark impression. Oh. Hello, Mark. Hi. What? Is I, 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 I'm gonna go to four. Uh, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna record a message in the future, okay? Uh, yeah. That, oh, it's working! Wow. Yeah. Hey, future! It's us, the past. Hey. Hello, future. Keep on a steady path, and you'll make it. We talked to Gene a lot. A lot. We talked about Hyakabas coming up. Don't look back. Don't look back at the past. There's nothing there. How we were, oh, did you hear about that? Or how did you? What? No. We were, we we're saying that that we do look back. At, oh, we're at, we're in the past. So if you're looking at us, how can Stop. you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't look here. What are you looking at? All right. Uh, yeah, Gene. Gene was like, look, there was like some song about talking about dead people and don't look at the past and. Don't look at the past. I was like, do look at the past. That's how you learn things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good advice. Yeah, Hyakaba's coming up, Mark. It's almost going to be Hyakaba. What's that? It is the, well, it's, it's his own thing, but it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, so on September 19th, 2010, Your Daily Hour with Me began, and on September 19th, 2019, it is the celebration of Hyakuba. Yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> it's like we try it. We try to describe it without using words like anniversary or birthday. Yeah. yeah. But it's like we're obviously just trying to like skirt the words. Or it's like, it's, it's, yeah. Oh, it's gonna drop something. Maybe. Oh. You drinking lots of water? Uh, yes. That's good. Well, I don't know if I'm. Sh- I'm saying lots. I should be drinking more. Even. I drink ice water. Good. That's devil water. It's like water yeah. with frozen water in it. Had a couple cups of coffee this morning. Mm-hmm. I think that coffee is less dehydrating than the people would like you to believe. Just water. There's water in it. There's lots yeah. of water in it. Made of water. It's yeah. mostly water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How could that be so dehydrating? I think it's like maybe... No, I think it's just fully hydrating in every way. You have to pee more, I guess. But that's fine. We watched uh, 11.30, your daily hour with me. What happened? What was on the show? Well, there was uh, uh, a lot of talking and stuff, you know, and, and they were, uh, and Kenny was talking and stuff, and, yeah, uh-huh. and he forgot that I, I had messages, I guess. What do you mean? Well, like, uh, on the show, you talked so long with uh, your brother that you forgot that I had messages. Oh, yeah, that's too bad, Mark. Well, you want you want to listen to your messages more than talk to my brother? Well, both, actually. Yeah, yeah. some days... I just like, uh, I guess one of my brothers there, it's rare, so I listen to your messages and then I want to call you. Like today, we actually, I'm going to admit it, I called you without listening to your messages because we only have about two minutes left. <laughs> so I was thinking now I'm going to save those messages for tomorrow. Maybe and there'll be less stuff going on tomorrow, you know, got to yeah. listen to some messages. I try to, I try to like get as much as I can out of the calls because I don't know how long they're going to be, like and how often they're going to happen because some days, it's like a... Well, you didn't listen to the messages and you didn't call uh-huh. because you were on your phone with your brother. Well, I'm calling you now. Are you... Yeah. Are you, are you... Is that okay, Mark? <coughs> is this something... We call, we call Kenny Dr. Rock. Dr. <laughs> Rock. I have a little dribble of uh, water go down my windpipe. Oh, that's dude, not good. Doctor, uh, Dr. We Rock. Call huh? Kenny, we call Kenny Dr. Rock. All right, that's a new one. Some people have called me Dr. Yeah. Kenny in the past. Yeah. That's what Dan used to say. He still might. Hey, Dr. Kenny, Dr. Rock is pretty good. Is that like rock and roll, Mark? 
Yeah. Oh, that's a high honor from you, though. I think hip hop's starting to take over, though. <laughs> it's starting. <laughs> it's just starting. Well, I think it's been taking over. I think it's been taking over since like '78. <laughs> hmm. That was like 40 years ago, right? '78. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it took over. I think. It sounds like rock is dead or something. <laughs> yeah, rock is. You think rock is dead, Mark? I think heavy. I think so. I think right now it's uh it's indie rock. You gotta keep rock alive. Indie rock is real yeah. big right now, but it's it goes in uh, pop culture goes in circles, and right now I, I believe we're like at, in two, the early 2000s, which was uh, kind of a, a mid 80s. The early 2000s. I think somebody should come up with something new and start a new fad. I think there's people trying to do that all the time. Yeah. But I don't think there's anything wrong with our own fads. Mm. I'm gonna try to stick with them, desperately, and then tell the kids. I'm gonna say, no, kids, this is not. You're you're wrong. You call this music? This new stuff you're making is not music. Rock is music. That's yeah. real music. You gotta try to be. I think it's better to try to be timeless. Because a lot you, of rock musicians are crying right now. If you if you uh, get all these is like all these new buildings and it looks so fancy. But they're gonna really get aged quickly, so you try to be timeless. You got a cell phone that you, anytime you want, you can just download someone's music without paying for it. Yeah. Well, the show's over, Mark. All right. All right. Well, keep leaving those messages, even though I, I'm gonna listen to them tomorrow, and I like you. You leave a lot of them. Like I always say, keep it rocking. Yeah, Freddie, getting your shoes. Yeah. Look at they're very bright. All right. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Are they? Are they? From the store, new Freddy, or you just find some no, cool they're shoes? From, they're from the internet. Oh wow! Uh, they're leather. Is that not what they usually are? Uh oh. No, usually Converse are just canvas. Wow. Sunday. We're on TCTV channel 22 at 11:30 and 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah. Why do you should be on .com three six zero three six four three four. No? You almost said something. Well, not stand for number three. I was gonna say. Did we ever record that message to the future? And then I remembered we did. Oh, yeah, fun singer. It's a good song. <laughs> Thank you. TCTV, LeBay by Jordy Fabulous, Graham Graham, South by Con, John Webster, this County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. Viewers, that's you you're watching. We're going to put Mountain Borders Northwest on there. We're almost going to do that, but we still haven't. Hell yeah, dog. One time we came in here, almost did. We'll do it for Hayakuba. Bye. Bye.